Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Grow Coders Akshat, and today I will be teaching you how you can make a simple analog clock in in this in uh, in Visual Studio Code. So in today's tutorial, this is part one, and I will be teaching you how you can draw the basic circle. So without further ado, let's get started with it. So uh, I would like to tell that my partner is also here. You would have seen him in video one and two as well. So yes. 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 So now I'm gonna create a file index.html. Inside the index.html, I can just say exclamation mark and hit enter. So I basically get the main main and basic html so over here we are just gonna say clock sorry it's supposed to be a c and over here i'm gonna say link rel style sheet href style dot css so in the body i'm just gonna say script src equals to script dot js And over here, I'm gonna hit enter. And here, I'm gonna say differ, which is actually it's a good habit to do that. So now, over here, I'm gonna create a clock division class. I'm gonna say dot clock. And hit enter so we get this and over here I need three hands so dot hand into three and if I hit enter that's that we go now we say R minutes and seconds yep and over here we need the number as well so I'm gonna say dot number and there are 12 numbers on a clock so i'm going to send to 12 and hit enter and over here i'm going to send number one number two down number three number four Number five, number six, I already got that. Number seven, also I got it. I got eight, nine, number ten. So now we need number eleven. And over here, lastly, num number 12. So now I'm gonna save that. That's basically nothing at the moment. So I'm gonna say, sorry, style.css. And just to make sure, script.js. So now in the style.css, so there is this uh, nice command where it goes like this. So this is what happened. And uh, yeah, so it basically takes all the things which happens after you run out. I mean after you run the app and before you run the app so now over here I'm gonna say box size in to border box and here I'm gonna say font family you can choose any font family you want I'm choosing Franklin Gothic medium this one and now I'm gonna body so that's it for this one so now we need to open a body tab so it's like this and what we do in the body is say background 
only background not background color colon and now this is a many new command for many of you so you can just check it out so what this does is it's going to give the background color a, a merging technique like how you merge colors it will just give it a merging look like if i say linear dash gradient so i'm gonna say two space right so now i want to get the red so i'm gonna say hashtag ff0000 hashtag 00 ff00 comma space hashtag 00 ff ff now if i hit somewhere colon let me save this i'm gonna open it with live server so this is what we see it gives a totally very nice merging technique so the next thing i want to do is give it a display flex display flex and over here i'm gonna say justify content center align item center min height equals 100 vh sorry um so yes I would like to give our viewers a more description about the linear gradient command and how you can use it differently. So you can go on. I'm saying you could give our viewers more information about the linear gradient command and how you can use it in your own apps. yeah but remember linear gradient only works if you put background not background color background color it means it's only one singular color so back to our code we're going to say overflow hidden so that's it for our body tab and now i'm going to open the clock so that's referred as dot clock and now it's uh, what do we have to do is say width of 500 pixels height also will be 500 pixels and i'm gonna say background color will be an r colon it will be an rgba and i'm gonna say 255, 255, 255, and 0.8. So now I'm gonna go and say border radius 50 percent. Border 2 pixel solid black. And now I'm gonna say position relative. So I'm gonna save this code and I'm gonna say open with live server. So this is what we get. So now we get the circle of our clock, and that's what I wanted to show you guys. And in the next video, we will be displaying the numbers inside the clock and as well as the circle with its needles.
So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the Bro Coder Rakshat as well as the Bro Coder Shesh, my partner's channel. Shesh, I would like to give a, I would like you to give a description about your channel. and we also have done a special html course and part 1 is in my my partner's channel and part 2 is in my channel so you may as well want to check that out so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys next time